Well, it's a sunny day in uh, Florida, but it's one of the coldest days. It was freezing, uh, good freezing uh, tonight. That's why I'm uh, looking the way I am. I was working on my battery, uh, and as a consequence of that, I bought two long-standing things that I needed to, to have. Uh, and that is, uh, first of all, I wanted to change my existing MPPT, my solar charge, sh solar controller. So I've got a Victron now, which is specifically uh, for lithium, or amongst others, but uh, and a Orion Smart DC to DC uh, converter. Uh, both of them will be uh, installed in here. The main thing that I have is that DC to DC, which will allow me to draw power from the alternator uh, at a maximum of about 30 amps. I install a thin plywood sheet that I covered with some uh, metal sheathing because these uh, converters, as well as the uh, controller as well, they have these large cooling fans here and they are supposed to be on a non-flammable surface, so I hope that works. I put some bolts in uh, at the top two locations and two screws at the bottom and that's the same thing for the controller. That's a DC to DC converter. So let me see. Now I will be able to get this washer in place. Now I will be able to slide it in on one side. Yep. And then bolt it on on the other side. I'll use one screw on this side first. Put a washer and a lock washer. Okay, that's like a rock. That's one. Then I got my solar controller. Now I have to make two cables from the converter to my batteries, a positive and a negative. So I already had a cable, a positive cable as, as well as a black negative cable. By the way, working with these cables, even though it's 12 volt, is hazardous, uh, can be hazardous for your health. So know what you're doing not what I'm doing. So these are ready to be connected. Now I have to start working on the main cable, power cable, that starts at uh, CCP, the customer connection point, at the driver's seat. I have to guide it all the way through the van to my converter. I'm working to connect my DC to DC cable with the connection point here on the, uh, on the seat. So the first thing that I have to do is put a lug on my hydraulic crimper. This gives me a good connection. <laughs> That's one of the nicest tools that I've bought, although I don't use it that often. This is the extension of my uh, CCP, and then that's connected. This is uh, my floor vent, and now I have to reinstall this and connect the uh, other end of the cable to the converter. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, uh, then I have to make the connection to the ground first. Okay. You have to remember that everything is disconnected, so I'm playing it safe. And before I connect the positive to the batteries, I'll have to check out my app. It's not connected yet to the batteries, but since it has power from the starter battery, the, the car battery, I was able to get a connection on my Bluetooth connection, on my phone. Oh, it's connecting now. Oh, there's a firmware update, so it's updating the firmware now. Power supply, voltage 12.2. So that's the power from the battery and there's no output, but it gives me the opportunity to change the charging profile for the batteries. That's working. Now I have to make the final connection to the batteries. So I was able to connect the DC to DC converter and the smart solar, the controller. Uh, however, it was such a cold day that even my second camera battery uh, stopped working. Today it's uh, much better to see how it works because that's the advantage of those uh, Victron uh, controller and uh, converters uh, is that it has Bluetooth. So when I load the app and uh, start it, this is more or less what you're going to see. And I can go to my DC to DC converter. Uh, this doesn't show much, only the, the car's voltage, because that converter doesn't start working until the alternator is running. So what I'll do is I'll start and then we can see what the uh, display uh, gives me. And you see it uh, changing. Now it's uh, back to a bulk charge. You see that the uh, starter battery is at 14.0 volts and the charge towards the lithium batteries, the house batteries, is about 13.6 volts. That's when you turn it off and automatically uh, the converter switches off as well. Go to my device list. Then I'll select my solar controller. And it's about 150 watts. That's coming from the solar panels. Uh, you can see there's about 21 volts coming into the solar controller from the solar panels at about 7 plus amps. And what's coming out of the solar controller is 13.87 volt and right now about 10 and a half amps that's going into the lithium battery bank. Oh, before I go, please pay attention to these uh, missing children. If you have any information, please call the appropriate number. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one of a kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. Done a good job.